new at six. Some Hamilton County veterans are calling for the director of the Veterans Service Commission to step down. He's only been on the job for four days. Mike Shell joins us live from the commission's office to tell us why, because it's really hard to screw up that badly in just four days. Yeah, Rob, it's important to note uh, right off the top that the Hamilton County Veterans Services Commission is not affiliated with the VA in any way. The VSC funds come from Hamilton County taxpayers. Now, the Hamilton County Democratic Party sponsored today's protest, but are their concerns political or just over the qualifications of the new executive director? I'm here to serve, yes, this board, yes, this office, but ultimately the, the veterans in Hamilton County. Excited to do that. Just four days into his job as executive director of the Hamilton County Veterans Services Commission, the local Democratic Party and some local veterans say Orlando Sanza is not the right man for the job. This role should be for a full-time person who can commit, commit to be a leader and who can devote full-time uninterrupted services to our veterans and our wounded warriors. I did not seek out this position. Uh, this office, this board uh, reached out to me to consider it. Sansa is being paid $130,000 as executive director. As a veteran, I am disappointed to see that Mr. Sansa uh, took this job and this very generous salary while he is actively pursuing another job. Serving veterans is not a side gig. Sansa is the Republican congressional candidate on the ballot this November, seeking to unseat Democrat Greg Landsman. I am fully committed to this job. I have uh, the luxury of having three full-time jobs, full-time husband and father, full-time executive director for this office, and uh, full-time uh, campaigning after hours on my personal time. Veteran Services Commission Director Bill Betcher stepped down in February after board member Stephen Staniford claimed that Betcher was not forthcoming on veteran services and how taxpayers' money was being spent. Sansa says he can keep track of finances. The benefit of Hamilton County veterans, to have someone with my skill set as a CPA, attorney, West Point graduate, Hamilton County veteran, uh, that provides that level of experience for however long. Now, it could be seven months. It could be longer than that. Orlando Sanza says that he will run an apolitical office and everyone needs to check their politics at the door. But politics aside, there are those who say that Sanza just doesn't have the time to run this office because he is seeking a political office. Live downtown, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now.